channel and today I'm going to show you how to wash a beauty select. It can be either a single or double, it doesn't matter. It's the same method, how to take either seat apart. They're both the exact same seats. And I believe you can also take the basket off. I'm going to take the wood off like that. So then it's um, just clipped onto the frame either side. So I'm going to take this off and we want to remove the one of these. So I do need a Phillips head screwdriver, so I will grab that later. So there's two screws on one side. I'm just going to take one of these little clamps off and slide the wood off. And then I'm going to put it back on and probably put the screws back in because we don't want to lose the screws and we don't want to lose this piece. We also don't want to make, we don't want to put the wrong one on the wrong thing, especially if we're doing two seats. Um, we don't want to get them mixed up. So when we take that off, keep it all together. So to take the tray off, we're going to have to remove the seat and push this gray button down. And we're going to slide the tray off, but we're going to need to open it on this side as well, I guess, so we can um, take them apart. So press this gray button over here and it will open up. Just going to press it right now. We have to slide this off, press the grey button down, and then we have to slide the whole ring off the top. There we go. So there's the tray. You can wipe that down or whatever. And to take this other side off, it's the same way. So slide it off like that. Okay, this seat is half pulled apart. At the back here, there is a strap that's Velcro that should be looped together. It's not looped right now, but normally you would undo that. And then there are some snaps. So maybe this seat has already been washed or pulled apart or whatever. We're going to take all the snaps off the frame. There's two on the side here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six at the top of the seat. I've done this the awkwardest way in the world. I should have sat down on the ground. If you weren't filming like me, then you can sit on the ground and easily do this. But I'm trying to show you guys how to do it. I really just wanted to wash this pram because I have some really cool ideas of what to do with it after. Another snap on the side. Oh, that looks like the whole thing's going to break off. <gasps> oh my gosh, I don't want it to break off. Oh, I think it did. Too late. It's corroded. Oh, we have more corroded snaps. Oh no, this whole seat has corroded snaps on it. Alright, I'm just going to get a flathead screwdriver and lift the bottom of the snap up and that way it won't damage it more. Okay, and then the front here, the footwell, has these two buttons and we're gonna push a button, one button and slide it forward and then the other button and slide it forward. Now they can both come out. Here's our seat frame. And we just need to slide the foot well out. And I would suggest that you put this back on here so that you know what way it goes. And it's not too hard to take apart and put together anyways. Just clip it in like that. So there's one seat done. So <laughs> Baby Jugger has kindly written the top up here. This is where the seat reclines. But yes, this is the top. While I'm here, I grabbed a screwdriver when I went out and I'm going to unscrew these screws in here, just one side. Now we're going to give this a big pull and take this off, slide it all the way off. And that is ready to be washed. That can go in the washing machine along with the seat. So we put that back together so we know what way it goes and put this somewhere safe. You can wipe all these parts down. Don't forget these screws, put them in an extra safe spot. The back of the seat have a bum board and a backboard in them. So we need to undo the bell part in the back of the seat and somehow get this piece of oh, board out, there we go, it was just sitting really high, 
and pull it all the way out. And there's the thumb board. Pull that one out. I just want to come out, why not? So we don't want to wash those parts, but we do want to put this seat in the wash. So for the bassinet, you can't wash it, it just has to be wiped down. Now I'm going to do this second seat quickly, and then I'll show you the basket. Paint it and just touch it up. With the baby jogger uh, seat fabrics, they usually tell you to put them back on the seats to dry because they don't want them to shrink up and not be able to stretch over the seats. So if you stretch them over while they're wet, when they dry up, they won't um, not be able to fit back over the seats. So I'm going to put everything back on and then that way it will dry. So you just saw that I put the whole pram back together, put the basket on at the bottom, I put both the seats and the hoods on. Uh, because it's in the double mode, I would like to have both of the hoods like this to air out properly, but this one isn't really getting enough space to do that. So maybe if I sit this seat up actually, nope, maybe if I put the seat the other way, I'll do that. That is much better for drying. So I put the bottom seat lying down and facing the parent and the top seat lying down and the forest up uh, facing the world. And that's better for them to dry. Uh, tomorrow, I think I'm going to get a spray can and go at this when it's all dry. But for now, we just want all of it to dry. I'm really bummed that you can't wash the bassinet. I really thought you'd be able to, but these are pot riveted on, they're not even screwed on. So you can't do anything about that, which is really sad because this is like a really nice, soft, squishy bassinet. In the sides, it's really like, it feels really nice and comfortable, but you can't wash it, which is a really big shame. So I guess I'll wipe it all out and get all the crumbs out. The rest of this stuff over here, I'm gonna wipe all down. The bum boards, I know I didn't put them back in because I wanted to let the seats dry properly and I feel like putting a, place, 
a piece of plastic in them is going to uh, make them take longer to dry. Also note that I have left these flaps the opposite way so that this mesh and clear will dry. And if you can get the pram outside, it would definitely be best for it to get outside so it can dry out there. It's night here, if you haven't noticed by the lighting. So I'm gonna put it outside tomorrow in the day. Okay guys, it is the next day. It's sunny outside, as you can see. And I've just put, well, I've put the pram out for a few hours now. And I've started to see some marks kind of showing up around the place. So what I've done is just got my spray and wipe and gone over it. And then I looked in the creases of the seat. So this is the, the bum part of the seat here. And this is the back part. And this is the crease. I've pushed it in the wrong way. And you can obviously see all these crumbs in here. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting my spray and wipe. And I am, sorry about the shaky camera, just going along here and getting all of these bits out. It's a little tricky with one hand here, but I'll show you what happens when I come back. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, change of tactic. I got a brush and I've been brushing it out. You can see what it used to look like before, now what it looks like. Here's the other side. Oh, sorry, that I haven't done yet. And then here's the side that I've just done. So we definitely want to get all those crumbs out. Sorry, I didn't do that bit very well, but I did, I think about here and over here. So let's keep getting that out with the, all the crumbs out with the brush. Just put the pram outside in the sun. Like I said, it's been out for a while, but I've wiped it down and I found a better spot for it to be so it can dry. I'm just grabbing some silicone spray. I'm gonna put it on the wheels. So this button here, you press it down and it will release the wheel. I just need two hands. I don't think it's gonna stay down. I need to push it down and take the wheel off. There you go. <laughs> and oops, now we can put some silicone spray in here and in here as well. And that will help it to push smoother. So I'm gonna do that for all four wheels. I'll show you how to do the front ones next. For the front wheels, we just have this gray button on the front that I'm gonna push in. And again, you need two hands, especially trying to lift the pram with one hand. <laughs> push this in and the wheel will just come off if you would. There you go. And I'm gonna put some WD-40 on here and in the little hole where this came from. All right, so the pram is completely dry. I put the hoods back on. It's like a little trick. They have Velcro here. So you wanna make sure that it lines up. You can put them on the higher one or the lower one, but to me, it just sits nice on the lower one. Now that the seats are all dry, I'm gonna put the bum boards back in and then put them on the frame. So the seat is upside down. This is where the handle is right now and this is where you put the backboard in. This is the way the backboard is gonna go. So it's gonna have the flat piece down here and it's gonna have this curved piece around where this button is. The bassinet is just needing to be put back together. So I'll quickly do that. All I have to do is put this sheet back over the foam mattress and then that just pops back into the bassinet. So that's really easy. I'm gonna do a review on this pram. I'm also gonna do a combinations on this pram and I'm also gonna do something really different and exciting with this pram after all that. So stay tuned for those other videos. So you can see it's still wet. I just took to the frame with a flat black can of spray paint and these are obviously if you wanted to do it properly you would uh, sand them all back but I didn't sand them back I just kind of filled them in it takes the eye off it from over here it looks beautiful compared to what it used to look like before so I just went around and did all the little bits did a little bit on this side it was more like there was white paint on it so this side will probably look pretty good 
You just have to blend it, that's more of the trick. And I also did the foot wells where they were a little scratch up too. So that's everything about the pram and how to clean it. I even chucked in a little bit of how to tidy the frame up at the end with the spray paint. Totally up to you if you want to do that, but I like prams that don't have huge chunks out of them. I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and if it was, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. It helps with my videos. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.